Welcome to Let's Talk Fashion powered by Bangalore Fashion Week. I'm here with designer Sheetal who's just showcased her collection Masakali at the 22nd edition of Bangalore Fashion Week. How are you feeling today? Yeah, it's really a wonderful experience. It's the first time we are working with the Bangalore Fashion Week okay. and showcasing our uh, collection with them. Mm -hmm. It was really great. Glad to know that you had a really nice experience. So tell me a little bit about your inspiration behind this collection and why the name Masakali. Masakali is actually a bird name mm -hmm. and every woman is like you know in some sort of a cage and they have a wing and they want to fly. So that's what in on the women's day I you know chose this collection and with wow. the, this name and uh, as you saw the show stopper was having the wing mm -hmm. to give a justice to this collection wow. by saying a Masakali. Very nice. And your use of mirrors and Yes. the different kinds of fabrics how did you come up with that concept uh see as if now like i'm a, like a pure uh, north indian i'm uh, getting merged with the south indian so like you know okay. we, little tarka of uh, that uh, you know this time <laughs> we thought like we'll give it and most of my collection this time was with the mirror sequins uh, mm. you know the glitters all that blengy blengy things very you know nice. which will give you a, a very different mood to yeah. go into you know it for the party it yes. looks really nice on mm. the ramp i can only imagine you know mm. with different kinds of lights and hmm. multiple people wearing things like this it looked beautiful yeah thank so you so tell me a little bit about your journey as a designer uh actually i'm a software engineer by oh. uh, you know uh, technically and academically okay. and turned into a designer because i'm from delhi and mm -hmm. uh, i shifted in the bangalore and then i saw this little uh what i was looking at wasn't there so i okay. thought let me come out with few concept and mm -hmm. yes bangalore has given even the entire south has given me a good response mm -hmm. you know we have a more of the broad customers and all so like being a designer is going really great very you know nice. the way we are taking a one one step mm -hmm. ahead is going really great very nice so what was the biggest risk that you've taken then because i'm assuming switching from a corporate job to designing mustn't have been easy right my last job was a project manager quitting the job and uh, coming to a designer was a challenge and for us like i'm a sap consultant okay so for us no word is not there <laughs> <laughs> so you know i thought okay let's take this as a challenge mm -hmm. because uh, most of my collections like we work in like day and two mm -hmm. uh, why i choose particular to come into is a designing part like in bangalore in some small small area if i'll choose mm -hmm. they have a more than 14 to 13000 15000 tailors but when you want to get your outfit done mm -hmm. they'll tell one month two months i said yes. no it should not be like that mm -hmm. So we said like okay I'll make the dress in 3 days 2 days not even a week's time wow. my most my show stopper dress got it done in 5 days time that's oh, all Oh wow that's that's a yes. very very that is the only challenge I took and I said if you have a wedding you want to get anything done I'll do it I'll not take a that's month's amazing, time that's amazing because yeah. I've also gotten a couple of outfits stitched for myself before and the tailors are tailors are like madam 2 3 weeks and I said I need it this weekend and what do I do then and they said madam we'll try we'll try but I think it's really great that you're sort yeah. of making life easier for a lot of people yes, who yes, have yes. got such time constraints yes, with them because I have come from the delhi where like every two months the season gets changed <laughs> so my mind will obviously go out of the dress <laughs> that's you know, true that will become a outdated for me <laughs> then you will give it to me in my hand yeah. so that was like you know why we started to do this mm -hmm. and you know the and yes the response is super so we are just taking a Very step by nice. step Very Very nice. So, have you already decided what you're going to be coming up with next? See, I'm doing the kids and adults board. Nice. And uh, ja, uh, now we are starting the heavy bridal for okay. the uh, men's wear also. Wow. So we are just making you know entire family outlook. Uh, Very nice. So and uh, coming into some uh, you know accessories too. Mm -hmm. So. we have like top to toe yes, top to toe very nice very nice we are complete package for you <laughs> <laughs> that you great. want for your grandmother or you want for uh, any of the small uh, newborn child we have a beautiful design in our mind the minute we'll see you we'll tell you this will suit you well oh, like wow. that oh wow so i have a question now now that you said you look at the person you'll come up with something hmm, immediately hmm. 
would you normally go pick up fabrics from some place and then pick come up with a design or would you sketch it out first we and then work around it we see your personality and actually we just take a very help of the social media nowadays i'll mm -hmm. just go through your profile and see how people see you normally uh -huh. and if i'm making something for you if it is not uh, breaking out the you know image of your social media i'll not get that name that your dress is looking ah, nice so okay. we work towards that and okay. i'm not a ready made person i am like you know from the scratch i'll make something wow. because what i am picking up the fabric anybody also can do That's something true, and yeah. you know they can come up with something better or mm -hmm. they can ruin the you know design yeah. also so mine is completely plain nets mm -hmm. plain satins mm -hmm. this or plain organza okay. we work with this fabrications only. and then the embroidery and everything yes, accordingly yes, depending yes. i on love to do the hand work and all wow. which stays like you know there's no limit there's there's a, yes, there's yes, a difference yes. charm about hand yes, embroidery which yes. i really really love to mm -hmm. see it just looks so elegant it looks so yes. nice the person who see and the person who wears wear both it, yeah. also you know, enjoys <laughs> that uh, yeah. the moment i'll say very nice so do you have any advice for people who are wanting to make a career switch but are again hesitant like you were initially if it is a passion of yours mm -hmm. then do it okay you don't need any training you are a woman okay you can do anything actually you don't need any training because you know i'm a mother i didn't get any training i become <laughs> a wife i didn't, didn't got training with a handbook no handbook no backups no <laughs> training no technical nothing we are just going with the flow yeah. and it take up everybody does the job as the their best mm -hmm. so that's how the you know it's a god gift That's really nice and thank you so much for joining thank me you. today Sheetal thank you This is Deeksha signing off I'll see you the next time and let's talk fashion